Hi, this is Ted Gartland from eGartland & Associates. I'm going to give you a quick update as to how to set up the, uh, the Backrack PAGM. The first thing I want to talk about is the battery. The battery in this system is uh, designed to last for days and if you're not using it, it will actually uh, keep the shelf life for quite a long time as well. There is an on and off button on this battery. Make sure when you're not using it that you put it in the off position even when it's in the machine and you charge it. Basically put it into a wall with this, this charger that came with the unit. Um, it should take a couple hours to get up to, to um, full charge. You'll be able to read it with the, um, with the indicator here. Now I've actually had this uh, off but uh, sto in storage for a couple weeks and I'm still getting three bars on here so you will you will have quite a long life with it when you put it back into the unit simply go in attach the thing on the end oh I forgot to say it. there's an input and an output make sure you connect this one into the output the input is where you put the charger so I put that into the machine make sure that I turn it on for usage Okay, if I don't do that, the thing's not going to, uh, it's not going to fire up. Now you'll also notice that there's a red light, so it'll let you know when the battery's on. When you're done for the day, turn it off. I also highly suggest that because this unit is temperature sensitive, you don't leave it in your truck, put it in the house, make sure that the temperature when you're using it is um, room temperature. Otherwise, it may take a while to get started up. A couple of other things. When you get the unit, it comes with the wand. If you have an old style wand with a blue tip, I highly suggest you get the new wand. It has a, a uh, filter built into it. These filters are designed to, to filter out the particulates. They are um, they're not very expensive, but you will probably go through these depending on how much you use the unit. There's also an internal filter that you won't see that this is called a water stop this uh, this one only really needs to be replaced once a year or so it, uh, it has a Gore-Tex um, filament in it, a filter in it and that keeps the water from getting into the infrared bench probably not something you're going to see, this, this you have to take apart the unit to put it into it another thing on this unit there is a, um, excuse me, it's on this side this is your your clean air draw system every so many minutes the back rack unit zeroes itself out and how it does that is it gets a fresh air sample through this charcoal filter and it brings it in there and the, the thing on here will say purge as it's doing that and it zeroes it out that helps with the sensitivity of the unit you may have an old style um, one of the filters which is right here this is, uh, does the same exact thing, however it is um, it's not going to give you as long a life and Backrack's not providing these anymore. So if you have this old style filter, the next time you get one you're going to get the big one. It's going to last a lot longer. If you do have the old style and you go to the new style, you're going to want to get the whole assembly. Just let them know that you're replacing the old style with the new style. Uh, it's very, uh, this part is not very expensive at all. So make sure to do that. When you do put the purge filter in, one of the things I, I was even confused about this is what side do you put the um, put the elbow on, and you put it on the side that says out. You have it in the side here. Put it in the filter. Or put it in the bag, and then fill it. Put it into the first hole here, not the second one, but the first one. Okay, that's the exhaust port so that's not going to do you any good this is the input port so again it's drawing a fresh air sample uh, for um, zeroing purposes from this from this hole here and then it exports all the the uh, uh, samples out there make sure when you plug in your wand that you plug it into the front port we've had people plug them into the side ports and it doesn't work so that's the beginning of this setup Again, make sure that you keep it in a temperature uh, sensitive environment or you know, a warmer environment because there's a, a, want, or a, um, 
an infrared bench system inside that needs to warm up. So start out with it warm.